All right, I'm back out at Marsh. Uh, another week, <laughs> not gonna give up. So last week, uh, you know, I tested the uh, the Razor's SLs out here, and uh, actually had a really good session. But my top side, uh, top acid was just not landing. Um, I don't think I've ever struggled that much with a single trick and not been able to uh, land it. Not, not a trick that I've been able to do. I got a lot of great comments on that video, uh, mostly supportive. And, uh, you know, most of the people were just saying, you know, you just have a bad week. Bad weeks happen. Um, a lot of them were giving me advice, you know, ways that I could... Uh, approach the obstacle a little bit better, you know, come to the ledge a little bit more, uh, less parallel, and, uh, you know, crouch down lower when I do my top acid. So all those things I definitely need to work on. One of the uh, most common responses was, um, I need to swap out that liner. It's not doing me any favors. And I should look into swapping out the shock absorbers. So I upgraded my skates. So these are the Razor's SL, but like on a pro <laughs> model level. So, um, you know, the Razor's SL is an amazing skate. It's 220 bucks out the, out the door and it comes with, you know, the ground control frame. It comes with some stock wheels. It comes with the stock liners. I wanted to try something a little different. And a lot of people after I posted my review or posted my video, recommended that I swap out the liners. So I went to Oak City and I got the Rain V3 liners. So these things are pretty great. Um, they are, you know, the top of the line liner from Razors, uh, Rain technically, but uh, from Sunshine, I guess. Uh, really well constructed, super thin, like they're almost um, like second skin intuition style. Really thin, really nice padded tongue. It's got the lace up in the top half, but it's got this, this, uh, the tongue connects down here so that it won't bunch up in the bottom like the old liners were doing. It has the neoprene toe, so you know your toes can stick out a little bit, uh, which is nice for sizing. Um, most important is they feel really good on my feet. So I put them in the, uh, the SLs, but before that, I also swapped out the shock absorber. So this is the Sifica shock absorber. Sifica is not really around anymore, but this is the one that came from my USD7. What's interesting about these skates is because it's a flat sole where the boot is completely flat, they have that internal shock absorber in the back so that you put your shock absorber in there and it leans you forward. So the forward lean that you need when you're skating so that you don't feel like you're falling backwards like an old K2, you need that. There's, you know, it feels horrible if you're skating without it. But the ones that come stock on the SLs were so thick. They were like twice the thickness of this. I wish I brought them. They're like twice the thickness of these. So obviously, if I love my USD 7s and this is a flat sole, Swapping these in should be exactly the same ride as my USD 7s. So I'm really looking forward to trying them out. I've been doing a lot of top acid stalls throughout the week on my little backyard grind box uh, just to get that muscle memory going. Gotten really consistent. Obviously all bets are off. There's no coping here. This is a ledge. This is a little bit taller than my backyard uh, ledge. But you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I gotta get this top acid back. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. All right, just enough to get the uh, blood pumping. Uh, these skates feel great, <laughs> so much better than last week. Um, so not only, <laughs> not only are they new liners and a uh, new heel shock absorber, but I got new pants too. <laughs> so uh, it's a huge upgrade this week. Uh, new frames, new bearings, uh, new shocks, 
New liners and new pants. Uh, these pants are a little looser than I'm used to. Uh, a little baggier. I just got some uh, some stretchies, straight fit something or others. I feel like I have a lot more flexibility. Uh, they're a lot looser. They feel much better. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that they're for me, but I guess we'll see. All right, some some grinds. All right, sliding great. Missing a few more than I uh, had thought I would, but I think that angle is taking a little bit of adjustment now that I'm not leaning forward as much. My jump is a little off. If you're trying to progress, don't change your setup. I do it because I love it. I love testing new things. I love sharing what I find, but I definitely don't progress as quickly as if I stuck with one setup. Uh, all right, Royale Tricks. funny how much angles can change the way that you do your tricks. Uh, the fact that these balance frames are taller, you know, the Featherlight 3s are kind of designed for anti rocker, you know, a really deep groove, which is perfect for learning tricks if you just want to jump on and grind, no problems. But balance frames are designed for both in a rocker and flat. So for me jumping on, I couldn't find that groove and I kept slipping out. You really need to, uh, even with juice box system, you really need to land it clean. You know, I feel like the, uh, the feather lights were very easy to cheat. And this is, this is a cheater setup, but that's a real cheater setup. Um, all right, here comes top sides. I think I'm gonna start on this little ledge just so that I can get my confidence back. Do a few stalls and then try to grind it a little bit. I really want to nail this, this ledge today with the top acid. I think, uh, I think it's time.
All right, it's better. I think my practice during the week has paid off and I'm figuring out when I'm missing what I'm doing wrong. You know, a lot of times I'm leading with my front foot, which I found worked really well when I was at Durham the first time. But really, I got to jump with both feet. <sighs> Jumping with both feet, really spotting that topside foot, and then just making sure that the front foot lands the guide. <sighs> Falling off too, which is good. Um, I fell on a few times, that's going to happen, but <sighs> fell off almost as many times, so... All right, here we go. Here's for all the money. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Damn it, I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. I just can't correct it again. I landed a few really solid, and now it's just my legs are starting to fall apart again. I think I need to really strengthen that left leg because I just don't have control over it. Uh, I got this weird, um, again, it might be a trick that worked once and obviously hasn't worked since, but um, I'm trying to lift my arms kind of like I'm skating mini ramp. I have a hunch that I'm not able to land this because I'm just slamming my feet onto the, slamming my feet onto the ledge. And what I really need to be doing is falling down off the ledge. Like I'm trying to stay below the ledge and do a top acid instead of landing on top of it. So I'm trying to lift my arms up, make like almost that little weightless feeling. I did it a few times and it felt really good. I just didn't land it, but I could feel the difference when I was jumping. All right, get some water. Five more tries, five more tries. I'm just too tired. Got me again, but I will be back. Um, it's definitely the higher ledge that I'm struggling on. This lower ledge, not a problem. So it's my jumping, it's my timing. What? I'll get it. Um, Blading Community Challenge this month, favorite trick. Everybody has a favorite trick. All we need is one clip. Any trick you want, back to blading.com slash community. Uh, I think you have until the end of October. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.